Dr. Sercek is the head of the colorectal cancer section at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer, Cent cancer Center in New York City and is the co-founder of the Center for Young Onset Colorectal Cancer, the first of its kind anywhere in the world. She's an international expert in colon cancer and joins Pat Monson in this discussion to raise awareness of young onset colorectal cancer. Hi everyone and uh, welcome to Live Like Rach, continuing her remarkable ride. Today we have with us a name that if you were along on Rachel's journey, you are sure to recognize. And that is Dr. Andrea Sursek is nationally and internationally recognized as an expert. Um, she speaks all over the world about uh, uh, colon cancer. She's an expert in colorectal cancer, but that does not get in the way of uh, the friendships and uh, with her patients and how personable she is with her patients. Uh, so with that, I'm going to invite uh, Dr. Sursek into our discussion. Uh, Dr. Sursek, we are seeing such a huge increase in the incidence of um, early onset colorectal cancer in this country. Uh, what are you seeing in your practice in New York City? Hi, Pat. Well, thank you. First of all, thank you so much for having me. It's really um, moving and 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 you know important for me to to see to to be here to talk to you today and to see Rachel's memory live on like this and and especially with all the critical uh, things that you are doing and and raising awareness for colorectal cancer. So thank you so much and thank you for having me and. Um, it's just wonderful to be here remembering Rachel, um, as well as talking about colorectal cancer. So to your question, um, to answer your question, um, it's actually quite uh, scary. We're seeing a, a slow and steady rise in young onset colorectal cancer, or, or what's also called early onset colorectal cancer, which is cancer in young adults under the age of 50. Um, and the rise really started in the mid 1990s in the birth cohort of 1960. So people born in 1960 and later, sort of in the mid 1990s, we started to see this kind of uptick of a few percent per year, but it's been steadily happening since then. Um, and perhaps the scariest thing is that it's not unique to the United States. It's actually occurring worldwide. So it's not, you know, on the East Coast or, or Midwest or, you know, uh, in the South, it's, it's really all over the US and, and all over the world, um, kind of this rise of a few percent a year to the point that we think by the end of this decade with computer model modeling, we're projected to see one in 10 of all colon cancers in people under the age of 50 and actually one in four of all rectal cancers. So 25% of all rectal cancers are going to be in people under the age of 50. What, um, what are young people to do when they have the classic signs of colorectal cancer and um, present to a provider who doesn't catch uh, the symptoms. Yeah, so I think Rachel's case really shows a lot of what we're seeing, unfortunately, in these young adults. It's exactly symptoms of, of change in bowel habits, of constipation or, or diarrhea, rectal bleeding, abdominal pain, not that last, you know, a day or two where it might be a stomach bug or something you ate, but that are really persistent, that either the young people themselves say, okay, it's okay, I'm just gonna, I'm busy, I'm not gonna deal with this right now. Or as was the case with Rachel, you kind of see somebody and it's, well, it's not really maybe taken that seriously. They said, okay, give it a couple months, try changing your diet. Um, a lot of times in um, women, the thoughts are, well, maybe this is um, GYN related. Um, maybe it has to do with the menstrual cycle. And so I think the most important thing for young adults to remember is that colorectal cancer is rising. It can happen in people as young as 20. Um, and that if you have persistent symptoms, any of these, what we call GI symptoms that I just mentioned, that don't go away last five days, seven days, see your, either your primary care provider, gastroenterologist, urgent care clinic for a medical evaluation. It may be a hemorrhoid. More commonly, that's probably what it is, but it could be something much more serious. And then they would refer you hopefully for that colonoscopy that would catch it, 
in an earlier stage. Unfortunately, what we see is that a lot of young people, the diagnosis is delayed, as was the case with Rachel, and then they present with advanced disease. They show up in the emergency room with excruciating belly pain, get that CAT scan, and the disease is involving the liver. And that's, it's tragic and, it, and it's terrible. And if we can raise awareness to young people as well as to the pe people taking care of them, to the providers, um, that young onset colorectal cancer is rising, hopefully those symptoms are taken seriously and they have that workup um, sooner rather than later. So many questions remain unanswered. Um, you know, the whys, hows. So very important for people to know the risks, know the symptoms, pay attention to your body. And if you have any of the symptoms, uh, get to the doctor. Such an important topic. Well, up next, we'll show you a fun family project that you can share with your peeps.